Today I'm touring a very special self-built step van. You may have seen this one built if you follow Seven of Seven Wanders the World. He has a lot of really great ideas in his van, built mostly of reclaimed and free materials. Let's check it out. Hi, I'm Seven Gray. I have a YouTube channel and a website, both by the name of Seven Wanders the World. I also have a second channel, which is Nomadic Home Tours. Well, let me show you the inside of my step van. I have magnetic screens here that you enter through. These are bug screens. All three of the doors, driver's side, passenger side, have these as well as the back. And they just clip together with magnets, which is pretty fabulous for keeping the bugs out and being easy to go in and out. I've been in my step van for about three years. I purchased this step van. It's a 1996 Grumman Olsen for $7,000 from a friend of a friend. I've probably put, I would guess, $10,000, $12,000 into the build plus my time, and a lot of the materials were free or donated to me. Over here I have a collection of books, so the question is why in the world is a van dweller hauling around heavy books doesn't really make sense. And that's because I like to go to various events where there are a number of other nomads. So I like to have a book exchange and then I serve tea during that event, so I have like a little tea house. So I have a bunch of tea that's been donated to me and I'll serve tea and share books. Back here behind me is what I call my power box, and this is pretty much all of the power controls for the step van. Inside of here you can see this is an inverter, a little bit oversized, and I didn't know what I was buying at the time. Back here on the other side you can see is the solar charge controller, and up on top I have 710 watts of solar coming down and then it goes into this system here and then there's wires that go from here down to a box below the bookshelf that you were just looking at where I have four golf cart batteries and those are lead acid so they take regular monthly monitoring of the batteries and I have 450 amp hours of batteries which gives me 225 that is usable which is pretty good for doing all the electric that I need in here. Made this with uh, expanded metal on the top. This was originally a metal patio table that's been repurposed. And all of the wood here was repurposed from uh, fencing, uh, cedar fencing that I got free from my sister's neighbors and free from Craigslist and just sort of manufactured everything myself, including the box that you see here. Over here I have a dual purpose. This is a sofa couch as well as a slat bed. So a slat bed has slats in here and so it will extend into the aisleway. I'm not going to go to the trouble of setting that up right now. But this is my bed at night. The rear cushion here comes off and fits into the aisleway. And then with the cushions on this side you actually have a bed that is seven foot wide by six foot eight long, it's larger than the California King. One of the great things that I love about this was designed by one of my YouTube subscribers, uh, Shalina, thank you so much, is this cover here. And it's made of the same cloth that you have for normal covers. And you just pull it off and all of my blankets are right underneath. So the bed is already made and I can just pull it back and I have all my bedding underneath and my pillows right here. So I absolutely love that I can hide it and make it look like a normal cushion here, like a couch cushion, but underneath is the bedding. And then of course, this is just the back cushion. And this is memory foam. It's a, a wonderful, wonderful mattress. On this side over here, I have a bench and it opens in the top, so underneath there's a bunch of storage here, and I just have some stuff stuck in there. And I love my sliding table here, so I can pull this out, work on my computer, um, have my breakfast. And I actually have another tabletop that if I'm going to host several friends that will extend out larger so I can get more people in here. 
This is adjustable height. It twists around and it slides out of the way when I want it out of the way. Moving back into the kitchen area, I built all of the cabinetry myself. I'm an amateur at uh, woodworking skills, but I think it came out okay. I built all the drawer drawers myself with the sliders. These are not the fancy kind. These are the inexpensive ones. I put uh, custom little knobs on here, which are like the sprinkler valve knobs and seems to work well. Over here is my kombucha station, which is probably unique to vans. I don't think too many people have this. But underneath here I have bottles of kombucha. Underneath here would be the wheel wells. And so I put my water tank on top of the wheel wells in here. And then this is the signage that I take outside and set outside of the step van to advertise when I'm having my free tea and when I'm having my book exchange. And right now I'm carrying around a whole bunch of scraps of wood that I'm going to make wood boxes out of to go on shelves in the back. Over here I have a sink that I got free from Habitat for Humanity. They had an area in the back of scrap metal that was just being uh, given away and it said free scrap metal and there was a sink in there and the underside is a little bit rusty and I think they just decided that it was not worth salvaging but I think it's in pretty decent condition and it's a double sink and so I use this side here as my water drain and mostly it's just storage for stuff that's uh, drying and this side is my active side and I have a water pump system in here so it's an electric pump, um, 42 gallons of water, which I use about five gallons a week. So that's about a two and a half months supply for me. I have a drying rack up here, which um, extends out if I want to do that. And I can dry either towels or swimsuits, or if I'm doing laundry or something like that, I can do that. The only annoying thing is when you're driving down the road, it does like to rattle. Moving back, this is my closet area. I have a closet on the right and the left. I do have some closet doors that are not mounted yet. That's one of the last things I need to do in the next couple of months. My yoga mat up here. And then the very back near to my back door is my closet space and pantry. Basically everything that you would see in a garage on this side. And over here on this side, I have pretty much food for the top half. And then I'm still organizing these shelves down here and making these nice new wood boxes. So I have enough material to make 22 total boxes in here to go on all of the shelves. And at the very bottom, and this is the question I get the most, is my toilet here that I can just pull out. This is a composting toilet and it has a separator in there for urine and for the solids and then I just use sawdust or wood chips to go in with the solids and then just have to empty out the liquids occasionally and this has uh, worked out pretty well it's probably not nearly as nice as a professional nature's head but this is far less expensive over here on this side I have a new acquisition here in the last few months which is my Berkey water filter which I saw for the very, very first time in Joni's rig. So <laughs> she is responsible for getting me um, addicted to this. I made it up on a stand so that I can fill um, glasses. And I learned a little tip is not to drive with this thing completely full. Mm -hmm. Not a good idea. So that's my pro tip for you guys. Uh, I do have LED 12 volt bulbs everywhere and I went with Edison bulbs which were really fun and then my ceiling I did coroplast which is a kind of a plastic and I put strings of twinkle lights in there which are also LED 12 volts so they're very low power and it's really fun at night just to sort of have that ambient light in here. These are license plates from subscribers to my YouTube channel and that sort of forms my backsplash for, for my stove here. So this is a propane stove. Uh, it runs off of a standard barbecue propane bottle, which I have down below. And then I primarily run off of solar power. So I use induction cooking for 99% of my cooking. 
Um, only when I have cloudy days do I use the propane. I have an electric kettle here. Um, this is my 110 volt plugs, just a standard Harbor Freight power strip that goes along the back. And then I have plugs here for charging station. Put the heater here on a hinge so that I can rotate it around to point the heat towards the front. This is a catalytic heater, so it runs off of propane. Very, very efficient, um, low use of propane, but it is a slow heat. It takes quite a while to heat up the entire space. Hmm. So that's sort of nice to be able to just sort of flip that around and point it towards the front. I do have a curtain See. in the back that I can pull to sort of insulate things and cut off light. Mm -hmm. And then there's a curtain up front as well. I have a refrigerator here. It slides out on sliders. How big is that? This is 95 liters. It's a Dometic. It okay. was their largest refrigerator mm -hmm. at one point. They just recently released a newer model. And so it's two chambers. You can do two freezers, two fridges, or a fridge and freezer, which is what I've chosen to do. And then I just slide it in. And the trick is to remember to lock this before you uh -huh. drive down the road. It's not great if it slides out. So I have a little lock here and I can lock it into place before I drive down the road. I want to thank Seven for sharing his wonderful step van with us. And if you want more details, be sure to check out his channel, Seven Wanders the World. And if you like rig tours, go on over to his new channel, Nomadic Home Tours. I want to credit Seven for helping me start my YouTube channel. You may not know it, but he is the one who taught me how to film and edit for YouTube and pointed his subscribers to my brand new channel more than two years ago. Please hit that thumbs up below, subscribe, and make sure that you hit that notification bell so that you don't miss any upcoming videos. And I want to thank you for your thoughtful comments and questions. Keep them coming and I'll do my best to respond. This is Joni with the Galavan. Enjoy your journey.